All right, hey guys, so yes, in today's video, we got 100 minnows. There's actually probably a lot more than 100 in there. As you can see up close a little bit, there they all are. There's a ton of them. There's probably more like 150, maybe even 200 in there. But today we have to go ahead and set up a tank for these guys. Obviously they can't live in this bag forever. Let's go ahead and get them a home all set up. So I went ahead and just grabbed this tank, super simple, and then an aerator right here. This will just create bubbles and allow the fish to survive just fine. So I'm just gonna go ahead and stick this air stone in. I don't plan on using an actual filter because I'll just do tons of water changes on this tank because it is outside. So it'll be super easy to do water changes. I'm gonna go ahead and plop this in, and then I'm gonna use the water from my koi pond and some rocks from the koi pond to instantly cycle this. So you bring over all that good algae and good bacteria. Okay, so while we're here at the koi pond, I thought I would also go ahead and give you some quick updates. So the koi fish are doing amazing, and that pleco is still in here doing good. But what we did is we added a pond lily. I'll go ahead and throw you back to that footage, and you can see me actually setting that up. Okay, so the first thing that was delivered was this uh, red water lily, and it actually came with a fake one. Yeah, and then here's the real one down here. So I'm going to go ahead and fill this up with some aquatic plant media. It'll just go in this basket, that thing will go in there, and then that will sink to the bottom of the pond and grow lily pads. Makes sense. So uh, we have a problem, and that is that these little thingies fall through these little holes. So, um, give me a minute. Okay, um, I just did it, basically. Some of the stuff fell out, oh well. And then I put this thingy right here. I'm gonna put a little bit more of the soil stuff just kind of around it. And then I'm going to put a layer of gravel on top so the koi fish can't like dig and mess it up. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this, get this all ready, and then I'll show you how it looks when it's all done. Okay, we got it all filled up. I put stones over it so the koi can't like dig it up. Now this little lily right here was expensive. So if it dies, I'm actually going to be triggered. I'm going to go ahead and pick this up real quick and I guess we'll just put it in the pond. Okay, I'm not going to do anything with the fake lily because it will just get sucked uh, down my skimmer. So I'm going to go ahead and try to put this as close to the middle as I can. So I'm just going to go ahead and, I guess, just plop it. Oh, it's vaping. It's vaping. Um, maybe I should have pre-rinsed it first. I don't know. I'm just going to go ahead and just set it down there, I guess. Okay, so that was like four days ago that I actually like set it up. So it actually grew really, really fast. And as you can see, it's doing great. Now, also earlier today, I went ahead and got in the pond. And I basically just rearranged some rocks. I went ahead and stacked up some rocks on top of these lights to kind of make them blend in a little bit more. Same thing with that one right there. And then also I went ahead and stacked up some rocks in front of the pump to the filtration system as well as the hose that connects the skimmer to the filtration system because the hose is a little ugly. So I just stacked a whole bunch of rocks so you don't see it anymore. And then some more upgrades I plan to do are getting some plants right there and probably another plant right there as well just to hide the wires and stuff like that. But other than just tying up a few loose ends from the pond, it's doing very, very well. But now we can go ahead and go back to filling up the fish tank. Okay, so it's all filled up. We got the bubbles going, we got the nice green water, and then there's a ton of algae on these rocks for the fish to go ahead and eat off of. I'm gonna go ahead and just stick these minnows in here to acclimate. I'm also gonna go ahead and grab some duckweed real quick. Duckweed is just this floating aquatic plant. And duckweed right here, we'll just go ahead and help the tank filter a little bit better. The plants will help absorb some of the excess nitrate that might go on in there. Now, while these guys are acclimating, we can go ahead and get some updates done. So the ducks are doing really good. The duck coop is doing fine. And here are the ducks themselves. So I actually named them. Uh, I can start telling them apart, which is nice. I thought I had a male and a female. I thought the bigger one, which is right there, I thought that one was a female. I thought that one was a male, but this one is starting to get the green coloring. So I don't know, maybe that's a male and the other one's female. I really don't know, but I named them. Uh, it's a funny story how they got named, but basically that one right there on the right is Peanut and that one on the left is Butter. So that's their names, Peanut and Butter. Okay, so while we're out by the ducks, I'm gonna go ahead and feed them. Let me go grab some peas real quick. Now, ducks actually love frozen peas and they're actually very beneficial to them. All right, so I have a paper towel right here with some peas in it. It's not that much because I already gave them some today, but now I'm gonna go ahead and try to catch one of the ducks. That is gonna be one of the hardest parts of this whole thing right here. Um, let's see. Okay, we got one of them. Oh, maybe. Don't run away, don't run away. It ran away. It jumped over my hand and it ran away. 
and they both just walked inside their coop. So give me a quick second. I'm gonna go ahead and try to get in there and grab one. All right, so I grabbed Peanut right here, who's being an absolute spaz. So I got Peanut right here, and of course, Butter followed me. So Butter's behind me. I'll go ahead and give him or her some peas in a minute. But right here are some peas. Now, if my ducks would stop panicking, I could actually show you them eating. But if we go ahead and just show Peanut some peas. Oh, she gains interest. So as you can see, once they see that there's food there, they actually will go ahead and eat it. It's just getting them to notice that there's food there. All right, Peanut was being a spaz. And, of course, Peanut follows me now. But I went ahead and grabbed Butter right here. We'll go ahead and see if he wants any peas. Uh, of course. So they love peas. They're just a spaz sometimes trying to catch. But that's pretty much it for the ducks. They're doing absolutely perfect, other than being annoying sometimes. As for the saltwater aquarium, it's doing very well also. The coral are thriving and so are the fish. The coral are actually growing really, really fast and I'm pleased with the results. Some of them are starting to split like this one right here. As well as these mushrooms, they're kind of popping up everywhere also. But I want to go ahead and feed the anemone today. So here is just some frozen brine shrimp. I'm going to pop one of these cubes out, give part of it to the fish, and then feed the rest of it to the anemone. The fish absolutely love the mysis. They'll all come right up to the top. The only fish I have to worry about is that one right there, the rabbit fish, because its spines are actually poisonous. So if they stab you, your hand will swell up. And it's just not a good time. So I'm just going to go ahead and keep feeding these guys until we have a nice little piece left to give to the anemone. Yeah, so the fish absolutely love brine shrimp. They get it like twice a week and they absolutely go crazy for it. So the anemone also goes crazy for the brine shrimp as well. I'm just going to go ahead and basically feed it a little piece as you can see. And it just pulls it in with its tentacles like that. And of course the fish are trying to bother it, get them away. But it'll just go ahead and basically almost absorb it through its mouth. And so as you can see, it's going to go ahead and close up right now and eat that brine shrimp. While we're here, we can go ahead and give the turtle some food as well. He's learning still. He's learning. But uh, he's doing absolutely amazing as well. It's actually growing quite a bit. And the last tank we can go ahead and check on is this column tank that we redid in the last video or so. So we added these plants. We added this Anubius plant right here, which has actually grown quite a bit. It's doing very, very well in this tank. And then this little moss thing was already here. We also added that Java fern in the back, which is also doing well and has grown quite a bit. The fish in here are all doing great. We have that large angel fish as well as a few sword tails, some baby sword tails, and then a big one. And then there's three tetras in here. And there's also and there's also an assortment of snails, and they're all doing great. All right, these guys are done acclimating. As you can see, there's absolutely a ton of them. I'm just going to go ahead and pop this bag open. And then just dump them all in. I'm going to dump them fast so none of them get stuck in there. Bruh. And there we go. All right, so there's none of them left in the bag. They're all in here. They camouflage really well just because they blend in, I guess, with the green water. But there they all are, just schooled up together. I'm going to go ahead and give them a bit of time to go ahead and calm down, and then we can go ahead and feed them. All right, so these guys have been in here for a couple hours. I'm just going to go ahead and take some of this fine little powdered food. Just go ahead and dust this over the top. And hopefully they'll start eating. They're super, super small right now. So I'm just going to go ahead and try to get them a little bit bigger. And then maybe they can go in the koi pond. But at this point, they just get all sucked down the filter. So we got to grow them up in this tank first.